This presentation shows how to install a JSON Integrity, Forma, or Designer Bath. Before you install the bath, you need to make sure a few things are done correctly. The frame needs to be constructed so that it supports the lip of the bath. It is not designed to support the weight of the bath. The weight of the bath must be supported by the floor. Next, you need to be sure to provide an access opening. An access is important for being able to access the equipment after installation and for inspection. Please refer to your installation manual for minimum bath access dimensions. Assure that your frame opening or cutout is accurate. It needs to be 2 inches smaller inside the perimeter of the bath lip. For instance, the cutout of a 72 by 36 bath would be 70 by 34. An alcove installation also needs to be measured so that it supports the lip properly. All Jason baths are built with our patented level form base, designed to eliminate the need for mudding the bath in to level it. However, if you need to mud the bath in because the floor is unlevel, you may do so. Make sure that the decking for the rough out is level and plumb to ensure that the bath is level when installed. Once the bath is delivered, remove the bath from the box. Caution, remove the staples. Bend the flaps back so that you don't drag the bath over any sharp objects and pull the bath from the box. Make sure to inspect the bath for damage. If damaged, contact the carrier immediately. A critical step to ensuring the bath performs as quietly as designed is to remove the packing board. The packing board is designed to support the bath and equipment for transit, but it must be removed before installation. Use a 7 16 inch wrench, either open end or ratchet, and remove the bolts that attach the pump stand to the board. Remove the bracket that is also attached to the board behind the pump stand. Once the packing board is removed, install the overflow drain and faucet on the bath. There may be a protective film covering the bath that should be left on during installation. You will need two people to position the integrity bath into the finished frame and preferably three people to install a forma or designer bath. The third person would help to install the electronics for the bath. Drop the bath into its finished frame. Once in position, cut the strap supporting the pump. Attach the pump stand to the floor with four screws and attach the electrical connections. Make sure the wiring is attached correctly to both the keypad and control box. You will follow the same steps to install a Forma or Designer Air Whirlpool Bath. With these baths, there is a bath well protector in the bathtub, and both it and the protective film should be left on during the entire installation. Cut and remove the straps from both the pump and the blower. Attach both stands as well as the control stand to the floor. The junction box and black ozonator box should be attached to the framing studs near the access opening. Make sure that all electrical codes are followed. For the final steps of the installation, you will peel the protective film up slightly from the lip of the bath so that you can run a bead of silicone around the outside perimeter of the bath. We suggest you use a mildew-resistant silicone. Once the silicone has dried, fill the bath with water for testing. First, check that all the unions on the equipment are seated and hand-tight. Next, run the bath per the installation operation instructions and check for leaks. Lastly, turn your bath control off and drain the bath to complete the water test. Leave the owner's manual in an accessible place so the end user will have the operating instructions available for reference. If you have additional questions, please refer to your owner's manual or call the Jason Customer Service Department.